Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 31st of July to the 4th of August 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to outline some of the targets that we're looking to hit this week and in the coming weeks. So with that said, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. US dollar index. Now the US dollar index has been in a downtrend for a while and we uh, approached the target last week of the 11.883 down here which we had highlighted from last week and in fact you can see price traded into this just tagging this target down here and it bounced from this position and now it sits just above the area we highlighted here last week so this is now not a target for this week but this is still a key level of support and price is sitting at the key level of support in a downtrend so because price is in a downtrend we are looking for a continuation of this move and we are looking for further declines in the US dollar index we're looking down towards the target of 11,786, but we just need to try and break through this key area of support at the 11,883. If we get a bounce to the upside, the next key level of resistance on this pair we're looking at is at the 1200 level, which is over here. And if we get a breakthrough here, we'll look for some accumulation, we'll look for some bullish formations and patterns to form above the 1200 area, in which case we'll be looking for a target up towards the 12,070 to the upside. So just to confirm, we do go into next week with a bearish bias on the US dollar index and we are looking for further declines below the support level down here. And we are looking for a target overall to the downside of the 11,786. But we are prepared to play it both ways given the fact that it is at a key area of support here and could bounce next week. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, oil is in an uptrend and it broke through the key area of resistance here at the 48.581, which we had highlighted on here for a while. And it has started to push higher. It's making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, as you can see. So we are expecting further moves to the upside in oil. And we are looking for a target next on oil at the 50.524 as the first target in oil to the upside. And then above that, we have the 5197, which is the next key area of resistance to the upside in oil. So we may get a little bit of a pullback, possibly even a retest of broken resistance over here coming back to act as a support. But either way, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to form in oil and possibly looking for longs in oil itself next week up towards the two targets that we have highlighted here. So just bear in mind, if you are trading anything with the Canadian dollar in it next week, a push to the upside and further moves to the upside in oil is likely to positively affect the Canadian dollar next week. So the first pair we're going to look at is Euro US dollar. Now Euro US dollar is also in an uptrend, as you can see, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And we actually pushed up towards uh, the targets that we had last week. I think the, the first target we had was over here, which was hit. But we still have the target of the 1.18084, which is yet to be tagged. So going into next week, we are looking for a continuation of this uptrend in the euro US dollar. And we're first of all looking to a target to the upside of the 1.18084. And then above that, we're looking at a second target to the upside of 1.18570. Now, we do have a key level of support down here at the 1.15834. If we start to see a push down in the euro US dollar down towards this area over here, this would be a very good place to start looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area. And of course, if we get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance coming back to act as support, then we will be able to take a much better trade from this area with a much greater risk to reward up to the targets. But if we just get a small pullback and we start to see an accumulation from here, we'll be looking to initiate longs if we see the right kind of bullish formation and patterns appearing up to first of all the 1.18084 and then secondly to the 1.18570. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. Now the US dollar Japanese yen has been trending to the downside as you can see over here. And last week we got a really big sell off after price traded into the 1200 area, this psychological area over here last week. 
if we get a pullback and a retest of the 11.068, which is a key area of support and resistance, as you can see, came down here, broke below it, failed as a, as a support, broke up, failed its resistance, pulled back, tested it, came up, broke through. If we now get a retest of this key level here, this would be a very good place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns on the lower time frames in this pair. And we have some new targets on the US dollar Japanese yen. The first target we're looking to the downside is the 109.670. And then the next key area of support on this pair is the 108.313. Now the 108.313 may take uh, longer than one week. So just bear that in mind if you are trading this. But certainly next week we'll be looking down towards the 109.670 as a possible target to be hit next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound US dollar. Now the pound US dollar has been steadily making its way to the upside since testing the 1.29580 area of support over here. We are now looking to continue this move to the upside and we are going to be looking for longs in the pound US dollar next week. So if we start to see a pullback, we're going to look for some bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area over here. And we're going to look to initiate longs, first of all, up towards the 1.32051 as the first target on this pair to the upside. And then we also have a target to the upside above that at the 1.32670, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair after the first target has been hit at the 1.32051. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now Aussie US dollar traded into the 0.80370 last week, as you can see over here. And this was the target that we had last week on the Aussie US dollar. We got a sell off from here as people started taking their profits and exiting the buy positions that they had over from this level down here. And now we are looking for a continuation and further moves to the upside in the Aussie US dollar. First of all, looking towards a target of the 0.8100, which is a net, which is a psychological level up here in the next target on the Aussie US dollar. And we also have a target to the upside just past that at the 0 0.81420, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair after we get a break and a breach of the 0 0.81 psychological level in Aussie. The next way we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now, if we start to see the US dollar index selling off next week and we see oil pushing higher as we expect it to do, then we will expect to see further declines in the US dollar CAD, which is in a clear downtrend. The only problem we have at the moment with the US dollar CAD is it's sitting right at a very, very significant key level of support in this pair, which is the 1.24634. So what we'd like to see is a little push down into this area, some accumulation, and as long as we stay below this downtrend here, and we stay in this downtrend, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and the patterns to appear in this area. And we're going to look to initiate shorts down towards the target of the 1.22354 on the US dollar CAD. Now, in the event we get a breakout of this downward sloping trend line and a bounce from this key level of support of the 1.24634, if we get a breakout from here, we are going to be looking to a target from the outside of the 1.26797. But just bear in mind, if we get further declines in the US dollar index next week and all pushes to the upside, the high probability move is that the US dollar CAD is going to make lower lows and be trading down towards the 1.22354 level down here. The next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand US dollar. Now, New Zealand US dollar is in an uptrend and we have a continuation pattern here to the upside known as a bull flag. Now, what we're looking for is a pullback and a test next week of broken resistance over here acting as support. And if we get that move down into this area and down towards the key area of support at 0.74477, which was previous resistance, we're going to start looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area. And we're going to be looking up towards the target on the New Zealand US dollar at the 0 0.75805. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Pound. Now Euro Pound is also in an uptrend, has been making higher highs and higher lows as you can see over here. Now it spent pretty much all of last week accumulating and as you can see it was forming this corrective wave that we have here. We are now next week looking for the boards to take control of this currency and push it to new highs. And we're looking for bullish formations and patterns to form in the area where it sits now. As you can see it broke back above the key area of uh, resistance over here acting as support. And we are now looking for continuation. We're looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area here with the first target to the upside at the 0 0.90340. 
And then if we get a break above this target, we're going to be looking for a second target to the upside of the 0.90916 in this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is pound yen. Now, as you can see, last week, pound yen was slowly making its way to the upside, pushing higher and higher. And then we had a really big sell off, as you can see on this candle from up in this position here. And on this sell off, we actually broke and we started to trade down below the key area of support on this pair as it was support over here, tested the support over here, tested the support here, tested the support here, failed as resistance over here, looking for a test of support. And now we had a failure of support. So it looks like we've also had a retest of this area as a resistance. So next week, we're looking for further declines in the pound yen from where we sit currently. And we're looking down towards the target of the 143 psychological level in the pound yen as the next key target to the downside. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie CAD. Now, if we start to see oil pushing up next week and we start to make high highs in oil as we expect, then we are looking potentially at a strong Canadian dollar next week. Now, if we look at the technicals of the Aussie CAD, you can see there is a key level of support and resistance here at 0 0.99613. And it was tested multiple times over here before it failed came back and retested over here came back broke as a resistance level failed as a resistance level here when it broke through came back to test it and it's been tested numerous times over here as well and then last week we had a failure to hold as support over here so next week we are going to be looking for a pullback and a retest of this as resistance and if we get a test of this as resistance, we're going to look for bearish formations and patterns to form on this pair on the lower time frames. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the 0 0.9800 psychological area, which is the next key target to the downside in the Aussie CAD. And finally, the last pair we're going to look at is the Pound New Zealand. Now, the Pound New Zealand did come back and retest key area of support over here. It was tested numerous times in the past, but you can see it was tested fairly significantly over here. And last week, we had price trading up and tagging the trend line here, as you can see from previous highs over here. Now, with the test of this downward sloping trend line and a rejection from the key area of resistance at 1.75561, we are now looking to initiate shorts on this pair next week, and we do expect to see further declines in the pound New Zealand. And we're looking for a target to the downside of the 1.72982. So that is it from me for this week. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, as always, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. I hope you all had a great weekend. I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. Take care and trade safely.